Hello, and welcome to Jefferson Memorial Forest. My name is Kari, and I'm the Community Outreach Specialist here at the Forest. We are currently in our Nature Center, where we're going to do some quick talks on salamanders. Now, if you didn't know, salamanders are actually amphibians. A lot of times they get misinterpreted as reptiles, but some things that set them apart from reptiles is uh, they have lungs, like reptiles do, but they're soft and damp and usually stay near water. And they more than often lay their eggs in water as well. Now, some facts about salamanders and pretty much their life cycle is if you look at this tank here, half of it is in the water and the other half is outside of water. And there's a reason for that. Salamanders actually start their life inside of water as eggs. Then they turn to larvae, where they stay in the water and they can actually breathe through the water with gills. Then they eventually turn to juveniles and come onto land and develop lungs and hind legs and front legs. Then as adults, they usually spend the majority of their time on land. And they only really come back to the water to reproduce. Pretty much, usually when spring starts, that first warm night where it rains, because they really like moisture, that's when they usually travel back to the water to reproduce. Right now is a pretty good time to find eggs outside as well. If you go to a forest or something like that, you can find small puddles or small lakes where you can find clusters of eggs. And we'll show you a couple of eggs here in a second. Um, Salamanders also live very long times, especially compared to other animals. They can live anywhere from 20 to 30 years and some even longer. And now, just to talk about our specific salamanders that we have here today. So usually in this tank we have a spotted salamander and a tiger salamander. And we're here to show you all some of those. So the first one we'll talk about is our spotted salamander, which is usually hiding like they do in the wild. Well, you can't see it all the way because it's barreled in, but you can see the back of it. Now, some fun facts about spotted salamanders. As an adult, they grow nine, nine-ish, seven inches. That you can usually find them under logs, rocks, or in barrows. They are usually located in the forest. Um, to identify them, you can usually see those spots. That's why they're called spotted salamanders. They're usually grayish in color with two lines of spots. You can't really see it on the tail, but if we went further up, but he's kind of burrowed in there for sure. We don't want to disturb him too much. Uh, you'll see that for sure. Um, their diet, they eat insects, worms, slugs, spiders, and millipedes. They're usually found in eastern Canada, eastern United States, and the Midwest United States as well. Now, our next salamander to our left here is actually called a tiger salamander, eastern tiger salamander. If I can get him out. Now, I also don't try to touch the salamanders because their skin is really sensitive. This right here is actually the largest land-dwelling salamander in the world. They can grow upwards to 14 plus inches. To identify these, they usually have yellow stripes or blotches, but sometimes you can find them with no markings at all, so you have to be prepared. Um, they live in deep burrows up to two feet below the surface. They eat worms, insects, frogs, and other salamanders as well. Also, if you have any questions, feel free to drop them into the live chat and we can answer those for sure. Um, now we have our next surprise. Since we said it's around the time where they lay eggs, we have a couple tadpoles and salamander eggs here to show you. So baby salamanders inside this stage are also called tadpoles, which usually we say tadpoles and think of frogs, but tadpoles also are salamanders. We have a couple that are still in the eggs, as you can see, and there are some outside of the eggs, and you can, some of them even have external gills, you can see. Pretty cool, right? Um, now, to go along with our salamanders, we have some book recommendations for you all. Now, if you find salamanders interesting and want to learn more about them, we have a Golden Guide to Reptiles and Amphibians. It looks like this here. We have Snake Lizard Salamanders by Diane Burns. 
illustrated by Linda Goro. A nice children's book called A Salamander's Life, written and illustrated by John Hennelman. And this is actually a pretty good book. I read it and it's pretty nice for beginners to go through all the life stages of a salamander. And now, if you want to go a little deeper, we have a Peterson field guide for reptiles and amphibians. It shows the locations, what size they get, and where you can find um, all these different types of reptiles and amphibians. Um, well, thank you for tuning in to Jefferson Moore Forest. We would like you to come out and take a couple hikes. We are still open for a hike, so if you want to get some fresh air, get out of the house. Our hikes and trails are still available. Now, if we have any questions, I'm definitely open to answering those. How long do they lay eggs? So, how long do they lay eggs? They lay eggs during the time of spring, um, just because that's when it's wet outside and starts to get warm. And that's when they usually come out their burrows into the water. Um, now, the duration of the period when they lay eggs, I'm not really sure, but we'll be able to comment that into the comments below. Um, but it's not a long time, depending on the type of salamander as well. Uh, some of them can lay anywhere between 20 and 70 eggs. I'm sure there are others that lay more and maybe less as well. Um, a lot of salamanders don't make it out into the juvenile stages. That's why they usually try to lay large clusters of eggs as well. They have a lot of predators, especially when they're small. I don't know if we can see if we can get this guy out again. Maybe not. He's but tucked in there. Our tiger, he doesn't want to come out. Our tiger's trying to show some love. Like I said, this is the largest land dwelling salamander. Next week, we'll be doing the same thing on turtles. We have quite a few turtles in our nature center that we would love to share with you all. Um, if you like this, go ahead and share if you can. Um, and tune in next Friday. We look forward to seeing you again. Have a great one.